其惨状和那条大蛇如出一辙啊！接下来，请收看海涛法师心灵讲座这个世界上，很少有两个人长得一样了，当然双胞胎例外。例外，每个人的业报不一样，住的地方、生的家庭、外表、讲话都不一样。那这个就是因为每个人，就是每个声音啊，每个生命过去所造的因果，就是业不一样。所以每个人的命运不一样，有升天的，有做动物的，有下地狱的，乃至有钱有钱的、穷的，那这个是百分之一百，随时都在让我们去了解因果。So in this world, if you look around, other than twins, or no two no two persons are exactly the same. Not only do they not look the same, they are not. We're not the same in our conditions, in our、uh, experience, in our circumstances, in what we meet. And why is that so? Because each each of us have created different actions in our past life. So our experience today is the result of what we did before, and each of us has done different things. So if you look around, there's really no one. Our experiences are so different from each other. Why? Because of what each of us individually has done in the past. So we must always thank the Kambu who is willing to come here and create such a beautiful temple to make us rich. Because the Buddha said, if you only offer the Buddha's service, the Buddha will come to the next life. 你只要在佛前供一个灯，来世也可以升天，啊！你只要在佛前拜一拜，就可以消无量无量的业障。所以，因为有佛，就有圆满的福田。所以，经典说，你在这个世间不施一百亿美金，哇，不得了了。但是，不如在佛前供一朵花的这种功德，因为佛是最圆满的福田。So we should be we're we're incredibly grateful and thankful to have、um, Kempo Lamasonam and Geshe Geshe Latene 
here with us, providing us with the conditions to be able to accumulate credit, uh, credit, merit, to, to create merit. By the work that they do, by providing even just a place with such Buddha images, um, it, for us to practice, even just coming in and making a prostration to the Buddha, you accumulate I immense merit feel, right? Just by actions like this. And we should be, we are really great, we should be really grateful and we're grateful that we have our two great teachers here to create that condition for us to practice that. Master Asa was saying that, you know, you, even if you're very rich and you can make lots of money and donation, that is not equal to one offering of a flower to the Buddha. The merits that you create by offering to the Buddha is the most perfect. So you go in there, you can go. Take a zone in, you need to get in line. Now, I'll have a zone. 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 I'll have a 拜到所有佛、所有经典、所有菩萨，所以我们一合掌，就礼拜了所有的三宝。So next time, or from today onwards, every time you pass by the center, come in or you know with folded hands make your prostration, circumambulate the building, and because in this In this center here, you have these Buddha images with all these Dharma, you know, the scriptures and all that. And even just by doing this practice, you you create in in incredible merit. So, if you guys in the future have the opportunity to go to Bhutan, to Myanmar, even to Thailand, you will find that they only have the place of Buddha. 他们车子都会故意设计绕一圈，啊，在缅甸就算没办法绕，只要看到佛塔，车子都会梆梆这样用喇叭声供养，啊，所以他们就要想尽办法做供养。所以我们希望下回我们喇嘛说了，找的地方大一点，我们车子可以绕一圈，再去上班。<笑> so in countries like Bhutan, Myanmar, and Thailand. It's a very, it's a you know strong Buddhist culture there, and they would build stupas, um, lots of stupas, and they would purposely, if they can, build a stupa in a road, rotary, so that all the cars can go around it and benefit from going around the stupa. Uh, and if they can't go around it, they will use the horn of the car, like to make offering to the stupa, like ha ha, and offer. Sound to the Buddha. So, you know that there that is an example how fervent their practice is, and you know, and so hopefully when um, Lama Sonam can have a, a place with like a bigger place for Joa Buddha, um, and we can drive around the the center too, like a. So, in the Ayu Wang's time. 时代有一位很有钱的人叫伽罗月，他家里的房子是用黄金珠宝盖的。那个时候，阿育国王就有一点不高兴哦，他们都比我有钱。还有一点很让他不高兴的是什么？这位长者家里的连扫厕所的工人女孩子都比他的皇后还漂亮，所以阿育王就不舒服。有一天就把这位有钱人找来说：“你钱从哪里来啊？为什么你房子是用黄金珠宝盖的啊？”结果这位长者手就这样比一下，他手比到哪里都一堆黄金，手比到哪里都一些黄魔术的啊,啊。然后这位长者说：“没有啦，我的师傅跟我讲啊，过去有人造佛塔，我曾经用一个黄金去贴在佛塔的最上面。”所以我现在手一打开，通通是黄金，所以我不用去买泥土，我就用黄金来盖房子
So here's a story about um, Han Yu Wang. It's the emperor, Han Yu. Can I do Ashoka? Oh, thank you. And um, then the other one is a Zhang Lao. Who is it? No, some. There's a so Ashoka was kind of wondering, does this uh, elder who's very rich, and he's so rich and it's incredible, and all the maids in her, his house is more beautiful than Ashoka's queen. And so he's really unhappy and wonder like, why? So one day he spoke with the elder. Why, why are you, why, why is this happening? And then the elders shared the story that when Actually, you know, when long time ago he he just offered a piece of gold, um, piece of gold, to uh, put it on the stupa, the top of the stupa, as an offering, and because of that, you know, since then it's like all he have to do when he flip his hand, open up, gold would fall from his palms, and that's how rich it is. Um, but you know, hey, it's it's. Is is the richness of the offering that he made to the Buddha? 那第二个是，当然国王又问，那为什么你家女人都你都要挑这么漂亮了，连扫厕所了，都要这么漂亮的？那这位长者就说啦，是因为我过去那个佛塔盖好以后，我经常拿花撒在佛塔上面，然后这样飘下来，庄严那个佛塔，所以。那我的师傅就告诉我，我生生世世旁边的女人都是最漂亮的，所以我想，这里面有一个一个佛堂，各位进来啊，供个花，供个水，供个灯啊，那这个功德一定永远你都会得到，但是你把这个功德布施给所有的不会供养的人啊，没有福报的，那福报更大。And then also Ashoka was asking the elders, "Say, why is it that you have you're surrounded by so many beautiful women? Even your maid who cleans the bathroom is so pretty. It's the most beautiful women than the ones in the." Um, and so the elder explained, "This is what the teacher told him that um, when he after he built." After the stupa was built and he offered the gold, he also offered a lot of flowers, you know, raining flowers from on the stupa falling down. He made that offering to flowers, and because of the and when because of the offering of the flowers, his his teacher told him that he'll be surrounded in his life um, with, you know, beautiful um, images, right, including women, women. So. Um, Next time, so same thing. If you come to the temple, you have these wonderful Buddhas and place to make your offering. Bring lots of flowers and make your offering, but also dedicate, dedicate your offering, the merits of your offering to other people who don't know the practice. Right, you know the practice, and you now you know you can practice that. But don't just do it for yourself. Dedicate it to all other. People who don't know, and so that they can benefit from it too. 刚刚讲了，相信因果的心态，我讲了比较多的故事。那希望各位要绝对的去实践。这个就是我们特别在金刚城讲了下世道，追求现世的快乐，追求来世的快乐乃至升天，那你就要守戒律，常布施。So this is all. Um, so far, you know, all these stories uh, have been um, shared to emphasize the fifth point of karma, cause and effect. Um, Master Hai Dao told us these numerous stories to really emphasize the point, so that we have absolute. We we must have absolute faith. Remember to have absolute faith in it, and also to practice it. Practice. What you do in this life, you know, you, you um, will benefit your next life. And um, keep your vows, uh, keep your precepts, lay vows, whatever that you do, and um, and and practice uh, with with awareness of karma. So, if you go to a Buddhist country, 
看到很多寺庙已经正常了，但是在美国、啊，这看到一个一个庄严的佛堂，那就很很很很难得啊！所以各位又能够到了美国来，又能够这样供养三宝、听闻佛法，那是我们很大的福报。So in Asia, if you go to Asia, you see lots of temples everywhere.、Um, it's a very normal、uh, phenomena, very common. Fortunate to have you know these these、um, uh, temples here that you know. So treasure that. 贪嗔痴三毒心不除，六道轮回永不停止。只要你有三毒。你永远都要痛苦，永远都要轮回。So the three poisons, tan, ten, ten, the three poisons, right? Uh, tan, greed, ten, hate, and ten attachment. The three poisons. These are the three poisons that we have to、um, let go of, give away, right? Otherwise, you will always in the sixth realm of、um, samsara. 就像有一次，有几位出家人在讨论这个世间什么是最痛苦了，每个人都讲出来，结果佛陀过来了，佛陀跟他讲，最痛苦了不是你们刚刚讲了，是每个人有这个身体，那才是最痛苦的。就像各位现在坐在这边也苦得不得了，啊，坐立难安，啊，但是这个就是最好修行的，就是你永远要有一个苦，然后你才会。知道这个怎么样去解脱痛苦，并不是身体酸痛让我们痛苦，而是我们有一个我的身体在痛苦的那个我，这个念头，这个我的念头会让你痛苦，所以你每天去运动，最最后也是要死了。如何把这个我消除掉，那你才可以解脱生死。So what is、um, somebody asked? Well. When we somebody asks Buddha, "What is the 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 heaviest suffering in this world?" and actually, the heaviest suffering is this body. This body that we have creates a lot of suffering because it's never it's never satisfied. It's you sit, it's 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 suffering. You you stand, eventually it's suffering. But this suffering is the best practice because it's 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 the.、Um, Is is our is the best practice to recognize that, you know, it's not just it's not this physical body that is the suffering, but it is the I, the concept of I, my, me, my body that is,、um, that we need to、uh, need to get rid of, need need to、um, not not get attached or not self cherish. So, 各位一定要故意的。让自己受苦，不然你就不会有那种对苦的感受。就像打坐一样，故意让自己坐不住的人要坐很久，啊，坐一个钟头，坐两个钟头，痛的要死。不然的话，你就生不起对佛法的决心，怕受苦，就不会有出离心。所以佛陀时代这些。这些国王、王子为什么要出家？因为他们想到这个轮回的痛苦、身体的痛苦，他们受不了了。做皇帝也没办法，啊，所以一定要消除贪嗔痴，这样来修行，才能够就近解脱。要有第六个这个解脱轮回的出离心，要放在心里啊。So purposely let yourself suffer. <laughs> That is the practice now. So. All the more we 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 want to recognize it's important to understand suffering. So take on suffering, and、um, so that you, otherwise, if we if we don't don't understand suffering, if you don't suffer, you won't understand suffering. Make sense?、Um, and don't lose.、Um, Because if we don't understand the how suffering feels, if we don't actually experience it, you might lose the resolve to practice. Right? 
it's hard, and you you so don't lose that resolve to practice. Stay on course with it. So, 真真实的去体验痛苦，这个很重要。各位不能光听啊。所以，我妈妈的生病，我住在医院，因为我有结过婚。我太太在生小孩那种痛苦，哇，她把那个铁架子都给抓断了。我我要生一个小孩子下来，那一种没有办法形容的痛苦，对我来讲。经过那一次我太太生小孩经验，我这辈子就没有性欲了。我真的是如此，因为这种你再怎么快乐，制造这么大的痛苦。第二个，小孩子生下来对我更是有感受，生真的很痛苦啊！这个小孩子随时会死的，稍微不小心就会死的，这么脆弱。我想这个这些对我的体验。那我永远放在心里面，所以对我生命就会很大的改变。So it's important to actually experience suffering and not just listen and imagine or that you understand suffering.、Um, watching his wife give birth,、um, thinking about his mother giving birth. Um, especially watching his wife give birth was like an experience that was very、um, life-changing for him. You know,、uh, after he watched it, he, he understood how painful and how how what、uh, how painful actually it is.、Uh, that it it actually also watching his son. Uh, taking care of the baby and how fragile a baby is in terms of you know every taking care of a life,、um, all this really has changed his mindset and attitude about、um, you know understanding how painful it is for other people who go through that pain. So, then, my wife also asked me to have children. I said, "You women are really strong. We men are getting scared. You women can have children. Ah, don't be afraid of pain. But of course, I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. But I said my experience. Because I am a Buddhist, many people tell me not to talk about this. 现在西方人还要插一些电男人，然后就去体悟那种女人生育的痛苦，每个都叫出来。所以那种没有办法形容的苦，各位一定要放在心里。只是现在各位有一点快乐，有一点欲望，你就忘了那个痛苦，那就很可惜。So continuing the story, Miss Master Hao said his his wife wanted more, more, more kids, more to have more children. And he's like, he said, no. After watching that, it's 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 so painful. He he doesn't even want, you know. It it really turns him away from it. And he also said, this is kind of a topic that most people don't, you know. It's a it's it's a bit touchy to say at especially at Dharma talk, but、um, but he he's but this is life. This is life. This is what. Especially we lay practitioners, this is our life, right? So don't avoid it.、Um, this is how you we practice. You have to bring your practice into your lay life. Face it.、Um, it's difficult, but this is how then you can really draw,、um, put the understanding of suffering close to your heart. Really understand it. Practice it in your daily life. So, 以后来我也去问我的妈妈，我就问我妈妈说：“你生我的时候苦不苦？”啊，我自己三公分，这个小孩子要生出来，他要裂开耶，那一种痛苦没办法形容。所以我讲这个，我是希望要要去很深刻的去体悟那一种那一种痛苦，而且这种痛苦是你爱的人。如果别人痛苦，你都没感受；你的儿子被打，你的妈妈在生病，你才会有感受那一种痛苦。不然的话，所以佛教里面要讲
，当然出离心以后要讲悲心，那这个悲心就是你要很爱对方，但是你又不忍他一点点苦，这个观念很重要。So, um, continuing on that discussion, Master Haitao even asked his mother, "It's like when you gave birth to me, how bad was?" The suffering was it really, really painful, and but his mom said, "No, no, we went to the hospital, and then you just came out." <laughs> so he was happy, like, "Okay, at least she didn't suffer too much." Um, but the whole purpose of sharing this, that Master Haitao is sharing his his this very detailed story with us, is that I mean, it's in fact he was he was he was. He was To be literal, he was actually saying like how you know when women give birth, it's so painful. It's like the dilation is one cm, two cm, three, you know, it's like this long painful process. And why does he go into such detail to talking about it? Because he really want us to. I mean, it's this is how we want to practice. Like you deeply feel the pain for the other, of the other person. It's not just you know, oh yeah, it's painful. But do you really understand? How painful it is! Now, when taking, you know, when when you take this thinking of like someone you love, like like your wife, is going through this, then you can really feel the pain, right? When you watch your wife, and you feel that pain, so then that is the kind of love that you want to be able to bring into your practice. Of um, I'm adding like to other people too, right? 所以佛经里面有说，释迦牟尼佛要出家的时候，他是偷跑了。各位都知道，他要偷跑之前，又跑到房间去看他的太太，抱着他的儿子在睡觉。佛经这样形容说，那时候悉达多的心脏都快裂开了，因为他非常爱他们。他出家是因为爱他们，但是他必须找出解脱轮回的方法。然后以后将来才可以去度他们，所以如果你没有这种对苦的感受，再加上对对方的这种强烈的悲心，那你就没办法把出离心转成慈悲心，这个很重要。So when Sakyamuni、um, Buddha, before he became Buddha as the prince, right? When he decided to leave the,、um, to 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 seek enlightenment. At that moment, before he left, he actually went back to the chamber to look, to take a last look at his his queen. And at that time, he was so heartbroken. I mean, he loved her dearly, and his he loved you know he was so heartbroken. His heart is literally like you know just broken open. But even for him, you know, he experienced that pain, that pained. Um, of leaving a loved one, but he had such resolve that he, you know, he, he, his resolve was to. He had such great compassion. He really wanted to just find that path of enlightenment for all sentient beings. That even, but so it's likewise. Like we need to just imagine it, that pain. In, we need to also know how to. Uh, relate to that kind of pain and suffering, to to if to have that great to understand and be have that have that great compassion, just like Sakyamuni Buddha. 我昨天晚上没有睡好，因为因为我昨天晚上是想到我出家以后啊，我的儿子经常被打，然后我那个痛现在还在，我只要想到他为了我。因为我要出家的时候，我太太就拿那个衣架子一直打他，然后因为我太太知道说我太爱他，我就离不开他，但是我还是走出去了，啊，然后小孩子都不哭，因为他知道他一哭我就会再回来，所以那个那种痛苦，我到现在想起来都都没办法，就是消化，啊，那我出家好像是八个月，还有一次晚上突然。寺庙电话打来，一个小孩子哭得很惨，妈妈不要打，妈妈不要打。一听，哇，我儿子的声音，我都快又要裂掉了，因为我的太太希望我回家，所以他就打他，啊
，所以我那个时候，我从那天开始我就失眠，我都很少，我就没办法睡觉。所以我到现在想到这个，我心里都，我都告诉他不要想，因为太痛苦了，啊！但是有时候也会想说，那别人小孩被打，你看。